say, don't let the fire go out. Because the word of God is coming forth. Amen. Amen. And if we all can say that we're saved at all, we're saved by the word. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our speaker, our bishop, our overseer. Lord, today, Bishop Jones. Amen. Wonderful man of God. Amen. 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 And I couldn't wait till he got here. Because we missed him on quarterly. Amen. Bishop, I wouldn't go today. Oh, bless your name. I know you got a word for we, your people. But we sure don't need it. Amen. Need the word. Praise God. For him. We miss Sister Pat. Amen. 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 But she's here in spirit. Amen. as he cares, does what he does, and I'm sure he does it well, because I don't know if Bishop Jones did anything that he didn't do it well. Amen. To present the son, introduce the other. I, I'm going to ask y'all to do something. I'm not looking at him. I ain't looking. I ain't going to look. I ain't turning to the left. I'm turning to the right. I'm looking straight ahead. Right. Would you all do something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he might not want it, but I, 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 I do to honor him. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you all would stand on your feet, yeah. give our mission. Yeah. Amen. Yeah.
for your concern for her. The Lord indeed is blessing. Uh, she's getting stronger. Day by day. Uh, we're grateful for uh, just the handiwork of the Lord. She's still a uh, prayer hearing God. And for the prayers that come from the saints, God still answers prayer. We still solicit your prayers as she goes forward as well as your prayers, certainly for others. I do want to thank the uh, Baptist Pentecostal, uh, those who are here. We do have several uh, apologists who are not here. Uh, some are working, and uh, we have some who are sick, several who are sick. And then we have the uh, caregivers, certainly for some who are sick. And then we have some who are doing this, and then we have some who are doing that. Okay. <laughs> But we are here and we just thank the Lord. If you will turn with us to the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4. Acts of the Apostles. Already asked the Lord's blessings and His help. So we're not overstepping ourselves, but we need the Lord. And we're trusting in Him. Our theme uh, in Louisville for the past several weeks has been dedication or dedication, and I'm going to stick with that today, the theme of dedication, and if you will uh, look with me, uh, fourth chapter of Acts of the Apostles, verses 29 through 31, and it read as follows, now Lord, Look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. The subject that we have utilized the past three weeks, using the theme of dedication, the subject two weeks ago was carry on, carry on. If you're dedicated, carry on. Last Sunday, if you're dedicated, pass it on. And today, we want to use with the Lord's help the subject that being dedicated, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Jesus, Jesus, the Lord himself, is always looking for disciples who are willing, certainly, to carry on the work that was begun by him. The Lord needs dedicated disciples. The work is important that Jesus began, and we find that the work being initiated by Jesus was simply to build the kingdom of God through the saving of souls. That's what it was while Jesus was on earth and church that same work and mission.
mission is to be done today. That's what the Lord is looking for. Those who are willing to carry on the work. That, that we find the work being the same in that Jesus stated in that passage that we know from John 3, 16 and the 17th verse as well that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The 17th verse says that God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That is the work, the work that Jesus started. And that's the work that he wants uh, his disciples to carry on today. We find that to carry on the work and then to pass it on. Uh, certainly, we look at the commandment and uh, the, 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 the charge that uh, Jesus gave to his disciples. That is from the 28th chapter of Matthew and those closing verses. He said, all authority in heaven and earth is given unto me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. That is the uh, uh, pass it on part. Uh, we carry on by being committed to the Lord. And he is saying pass it on in that disciples are to make disciples. He said uh, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you, and lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age of the world. Jesus knew, as I pointed out uh, at home, that the disciples would need his presence still. And uh, certainly they would need the help from the Lord. That is why he said before he left them uh, to go into heaven, uh, he said that I'll be with you always because he knew that they would still need him. Well, how is he going to be with them always? But he taught them that they would be incapable of carrying on the work by themselves. For he knew as he had taught the disciples previously that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. All of us, all of us can say that we're dedicated, but all of us have to say sometimes that we have missed the mark. Sometimes we've fallen down. Sometimes we've weakened along the journey. And, and we know that the spirit is willing, but the flesh indeed gets weak. So as Jesus taught them that you can't do it by yourself, he informed them that power was available for them through the Holy Spirit. And that is what he encouraged them to seek for. He said, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Spirit, has come upon you. Then you shall be my witnesses. Uh, he said, and so he told these disciples at that time that I send the promise of the Father upon you, but you tarry in Jerusalem until you uh, are endued with power, are equipped with power from on high. That is the power that certainly that came on the day of Pentecost which we celebrated a few Sundays ago, that while the uh, disciples and other believers, about 120 souls, Luke recorded, were together when the Holy Spirit came and he empowered those disciples and those other believers on that day. Uh, we find that Peter uh, boldly 
stood up and he declared uh, the word of the Lord to thousands of souls who heard him, empowered by the Holy Spirit, empowered by the Lord. He let them know that uh, Jesus, the one that had been crucified, the one he pointed out to these many who were there, uh, the, 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 these ones who had uh, wanted Jesus to die on the cross. He said, you're the ones who crucified him. But this Jesus, God raised from the dead. That he was dead. The purpose that God had for his death has been completed now. He was dead, but now he is alive. This Jesus is alive. Not only is this Jesus alive, but he said this same Jesus is the one of whom God has made both Lord and Christ. He is above everything. He is above all things. And it is because of Peter's bold preaching that we find that uh, about 3,000 souls, the scriptures say, were added to the church. Isn't that something? Isn't that wonderful? Through the power of the Lord. And because of the power of the Lord, the disciples uh, were able to go forth. And the hand of God certainly worked through them. Many signs were done all in the name of Jesus. Well, the work of the pastor today is the same as it was for the disciples in the days of old. The work of the pastor today is still to do the same thing that the disciples did as leaders of the church and as leaders of the people, certainly of 